What's up, y'all? Today we're talking about the Marlins' infamous rebuild over the past couple of years and some of the really bad trades they've made. I got about five trades here, and that now that we can look back on them, a lot of these guys have made the major leagues, we can really assess how good these trades were. Spoiler alert, they really weren't that good. Although some of the players they got back were a big piece in them making the playoffs last year. Um, so let's get started with the big one. It was John Carlos Stanton. He won MVP for them. They sent him to the Yankees. It was kind of a big salary dump. For Starlin Castro, not a great player for the Yankees, now he's in the Nationals, Jorge Guzman and Jose Devers. Uh, Jorge Guzman and Jose Devers have not made the major leagues. This trade, uh, although Stanton hasn't been amazing for the Yankees, looks like one of the biggest L's for the Marlins out of all of these here. Um, we'll move on quickly to Christian Yelich deal. Now, Christian Yelich at the point... He was not an MVP player, but he was a really good young player with lots, lots of potential, and they got back four prospects for them. He went to the Brewers for Lewis Brinson, Isan Diaz, Monte Harrison, and Jordan Yamamoto. Now, all these guys have made the major leagues and haven't been super impressive there. Uh, Lewis Brinson has had all the potential. He didn't have a bad 2020, but it's not been great. Isan Diaz, he came up and he had a great moment where he homered off Jacob deGrom in his first at-bat. Besides that, not much. Monte Harrison has probably been the best out of these four. He's been pretty solid. And then Jordan Yamamoto came up, had a really good start to his career, and is now on the Mets. They didn't get much back for him. Um, we'll move on to the third trade, and is dealing with JT Realmuto. Uh, probably the best catcher in baseball. I don't think it's that argued. Um, they traded him to the Phillies for Jorge Alfaro and Sixto Sanchez. This is probably a W trade for the Marlins. JT Realmuto was great for the Marlins. He's been great for the Phillies. But, if you get Jorge Alfaro, who's a good young catcher, not a great young catcher, and Sixto Sanchez looks like the truth. Sixto Sanchez looks like he's going to be one of the best pitchers in this league for a while if he plays up to how he was doing in 2020. So this is actually a W trade for the Marlins, unlike the first two. There's actually six trades, so let's get to trade number four. It's dealing with Marcelo Zuna going to the St. Louis Cardinals for Sandy Alcantara. Zach Gallen and Magnerius Sierra. This is another W trade for the Marlins and an L for the Cardinals. Now, uh, the Cardinals only got maybe a year or two out of Marcelo Zuna, and they had like a couple of NLDS wins, and that was about it. Uh, and then he got, went into free agency, went into free agency, and eventually signed with the Braves, and then re-signed for another like four years, I think. So this was not a great trade for the Cardinals. Now I think the stigma around the Marlins and this in and this infamous rebuild. I think Jeter made most of these trades. He's the GM. Uh, was that they got fleeced? And when you look at these, they didn't actually get fleeced that bad. Stanton and Yelich trades are pretty bad, but this one's pretty good. So Sandy Alcantara, stud, uh, one of the most underrated pitchers in the MLB. Then Zach Gallen, who they ended up flipping. Uh, to the um, to the D-backs, yeah, for Jazz Chisholm. Jazz Chisholm is an amazing player. So is Zach Gallen. I'd probably take Zach Gallen, but Jazz Chisholm has been amazing. Magnaria Sierra, not much, but still. Um, Zach Gallen has had one of the greatest starts uh, to a, to a, like any pitcher's career. Uh, through his first 30 starts, he's a 2.79 ERA, which puts him fourth in the past 25 years. Uh, I think it was only Jose Fernandez, David Cohn, um, Aaron Sanchez were like ahead of me, ahead of him or something. Um, so still W trade for the Marlins right there. Uh, Sandy Alcantara, six of Sanchez in the past two trades are big pieces in their rotation. They're the main guys. Uh, we'll go to the second last trade, and it's dealing with Luis Castillo, and this might be the worst one. They sent him to the Reds for Dan Straley. Yeah, not good. Luis Castillo is a top twenty pitcher. I'm not sure. Not really sure where I'd rate him, but he's still a really good pitcher, and he's better than whatever they got out of Dan Straley. Um, and then we'll go to the last trade, and it's Chris Paddock to the Padres for Fernando Rodney. Yeah, those are not good trades at all. I'm um, dealing with two really young good pitchers, but they were prospects at the time, and they were trying to make the playoffs with this core. So getting bullpen guys like Straley and Rodney made sense. It just sucks for them. Well, it doesn't suck that um, Castillo and Paddock turned out, because you want to see these guys turns out. But it sucks that now, now you look back and the trades look really bad. Uh, they were trying to build around the core. They never even made the playoffs, which sucks for the Marlins. Um, this Florida Marlins hat is absolutely sick, though. Uh, that was the video. Just kind of going into a little review of that uh, infamous rebuild where they traded. Like, the rest of the guys that they trade here, I can name them some other names. Uh, Kike Hernandez, D. Gordon, Jake Marisnik, Austin Barnes, uh, Domingo Herman, uh, Nathan Evaldi, Anthony Des Descofani. Uh, he's Mero Petit, Sergio Romo. They traded away a lot of guys. They could have had like a whole playoff roster, um, but it just didn't work out for the Marlins. 
I guess that's the way baseball goes. Hope you guys enjoyed.